Welcome to Hardware Engineering Design. Today, we're going to present an overview of fundamental topics in electrical engineering. To kick things off, let's talk about common types of electronic noise interferences. One type of electronic noise is analog noise, such as shot noise and common mode noise. We'll introduce a crucial tool, power spectral density, to quantify these phenomena. Finally, we'll touch on methods to mitigate these common issues. After getting a grip on noise, we'll transition to passive components like resistors, capacitors, and inductors. These elements are vital for signal conditioning. We'll delve into non-ideal characteristics of these components and how they impact your designs. Now, let's switch gear and explore active components, the backbone of any electronic system. Active components like MOSFETs can be controlled to change their states, whether it's adjusting their internal gain or switching on and off with a control signal. Here are some IV characteristics for each type of transistors. Next, We'll focus on circuit design that employs both passive and active components. When it comes to processing analog signals, we we'll rely on analog circuits. A key player here is the operational amplifier, or op-amp in short, which allows us to perform basic mathematical operations on analog signals, such as addition, multiplication, subtraction, and division. Some common amplifier topology are also introduced, such as differential amplifier, instrumentation amplifier, etc. In contrast, digital signals are usually represented by binary numbers. The data processing here uses Boolean algebra operations, such as AND, NAND, OR, or XOR. Essentially, we use digital logic for mathematical operations, and the digital circuits allows us to do that in practice. What if, if we want the best of both worlds, entering mixed signal circuits, which interface between analog voltages and digital bits? Some important parameters are resolution, bandwidth, dynamic range, and linearity. Know that mixed signal circuits does not just mean ADCs and DACs. As we wrap our discussion on building blocks, let's shift our focus on power delivery system. These systems handle voltage regulation and distributions. Electronics that build this system is power electronics. We'll explore some key power regulation circuits, how to evaluate their performance through metrics like power integrity. In the next section, we'll go over some common methodologies and metrics to evaluate the performance of both the power regulation stage and its delivery path. Once we build the power delivery and functional blocks using the A-formation topics, it's time to integrate all the subsystems into one functional design. One of the key aspects of system integration is proper interconnect design. In this article, we'll introduce basic transceiver architecture, electrical signal transmission parameters, such as voltage swing and frequencies. And lastly, introduce differential mode transmission type and its importance. One of the key metrics for evaluating the wiring of the system is called signal integrity measure. Here, we'll introduce common signal integrity problems, its causes, and how we can measure it. It's essential to protect our electronic systems against mishaps like electrical static discharge. In this article, we introduce some basic types of protection, common faults, and its corresponding protection circuit, such as transient voltage suppressor, over voltage protection, over current protection, reverse voltage protection, electronic fuse, etc. This wraps up our overview of electrical engineering fundamentals.
apply to practical system design. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out.